Got the new governor gear in. Alright, so I've got uh, the oil drained out and the engine sitting here on the table. I'm going to just start pulling it apart. I think first I'm going to pull the muffler off and then probably the whole entire intake, side panels, uh, PTO. Other than that, I'll set the camera up on a time lapse and. Uh, So I just pulled the heads off, both sides of the engine. I got all of the, got the flywheel off and the PTO off in the front, but this side is slightly worse. I don't know if you can see, but there's some pitting where you can see the ring sat. So it's definitely gonna have to be bored. Both sides, and then they both say point. 003 on them, which doesn't make much sense to me because if they were previously bored, then it would be 0 .010, 0 .020, 0 .030 for 10, 20, or 30 over. I don't know, I don't think you can get 3 thou over pistons. I th thought the smallest you get was 10 or maybe 5 over. But yeah, it's def it's definitely gonna have to be bored. So not sure if I'm gonna keep tearing it apart today or what. But yeah, somebody used silicone on these head gaskets. Here, the heads look okay. Yeah, they're slightly scored, and then they're just really got stains in them from sitting. The other side has some pretty bad pitting in it. So, hopefully, I Getting it bored out will uh, fix that. Other than that, I'll just keep taking it apart, I guess. Uh, maybe I will just take the cylinders off today. But, uh, yep, keep on going. 
All right, I did a bunch of work with the camera off, but you can see I pulled the heads off. Uh, actually, I think I told you that earlier. Um, I pulled the cylinders off and pulled the pistons out. Um, there's actually quite a bit of play or a decent amount in the rods, but I don't remember if I showed you this earlier, but there's a lot of end play in the crankshaft. I don't know if you can see that, but that's probably, I guess I can measure it actually. Let's see. Get a little tape measure. Right at, I'd say that's four and a half. Push it in. We're sitting at mm, four and a half. Oh well, wow. it's it's a decent amount. Definitely out of spec, but that's why we're rebuilding it and. One of the pistons actually had a crack in it. Uh, I've got them down there. It had a crack on the side by the wrist pin. Um, and the wrist pins came out very much not good. They were a pain, is what I'm trying to say. I can't talk today for some reason. Uh, I pulled the points off. Somebody had replaced those. Uh, when I pulled that off. So next looks like I'm going to pull the fuel pump and the stator off. And then I'm debating if I pull these off or not. If I just leave them with the block. I think I'll I'll probably just pull them off so I can pull the block apart and uh, take a look at the inside of it. But uh, yeah. Pick up in a bit. Alright, so I had the cases split apart. I already took a, took a look at the bearings. Um, they look okay. Ouch. Um, pulled the rods off. I'm definitely going to replace those. Uh, crank journals don't look too bad. Definitely should be probably wouldn't hurt to be polished. Maybe they'll need to be taken uh, 10 under. We'll see. Um, cam looks good enough. Uh, this gear, oil pump gear, has a lot of play in it, but uh, other than that, nothing really seems out of whack other than the amount of end play, which here you can really see here. That's uh, yeah. That looks like a solid uh, sixteenth of an inch. Go measure it. Let's see, we've got Yeah, that's pretty much a sixteenth of an inch of end play, so that is insane. I'm pretty sure anyway. But uh other than that I think this is the end of this video, so here's on my pile of parts, that bin is heavy, there's my bolts, um, yeah, so if you want to keep up on this series, subscribe, and see other videos, I think I'll probably have some
videos of my Traxxas slash 4x4 coming out soon. Um, hopefully a review on this Pittsburgh toolkit. Um, and then more on this. This might slow down a little bit on the 317 project for a little bit while I uh, figure out if I'm going to have somebody do the work to measure this or if I'm going to go buy my own tools to measure all the tolerances and then uh, obviously I'll have to have somebody machine it because uh, it's definitely going to have to be bored a decent amount. So. Yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, um, comment questions that you have, I'll answer what I can, tips, I'll take those, see you in the next one.